must have seen groups of people, elders mostly, sitting in job parks, sitting in marketplaces, or under a banyan tree in our villages. What do they talk? Why do they sit there? One day I went and asked them. They were all my grandfathers from the village. I just asked, Grandpa, why do you come and sit here every evening? He said, you know, I enjoy company of my friends here. They are all of my age group. We talk about weather, we talk about farmland, and we talk about harvest, the season, or any other season. And we also discuss about some of the problems of our community. Similarly, we have seen stitching groups of ladies. We have seen a group of children in schools. We have seen a group of young people in colleges and universities. We have seen a group of ministers, group of chief executive officers of companies coming together annually or biennially. They come together to perform a task, to discuss about various important things and to learn from each other. Such groups are called as peer group. So today we are going to learn about peer group in a more formal way. So what is a peer group? How do we define a peer group? A peer group is a group of people who gather primarily to socialize, consist of similar age groups, share similar interests, and might have similar background or status. We know that uh, every coin has two sides. So formation of peer group has advantages as well as disadvantages. First of all, we will discuss about the disadvantages of a peer group. What could be the disadvantages? First is, one of the disadvantages is problematic behavior. Suppose a group of people who do not love to mingle with the people of the society, then they develop a sort of rebellious behavior. And if you are a part of such a group, then you also tend to develop such kind of antisocial behavior. Second advantage is developmental problems. Suppose there is a group of eight students. Out of eight students, two students are not able to speak their mind properly in front of the other students. Then they are bullied, they are abused, and even sometimes they have to bear the brunt of anger of their friends. In that condition, when such students who have been bullied by their peer group members will find it difficult to socialize in the coming years of their life, that is called developmental problem. Then third disadvantage is that of a peer pressure. Let us take a very small example. There is a group of five students from class eight. One day, they didn't like the food provided in the hostel. So three of them decided to place an order for chicken chow mein from the nearby market. The other two resisted. But then the first three students, they pressurized the other two, threatening that if you do not come along with us, then you are no longer a part of this group. And out of fear, out of anxiety, the other two also get along and they go out and buy chicken chow mein in the middle of the night and then come back. This is an example of a peer pressure. So peer groups uh, can have problematic behavior, developmental problems and peer pressure. But then we should always look at the bright side. And right side of a peer group is its advantages. So what are the advantages of a peer group? A peer group can be 
a wonderful source of information. If it is that of an elderly group, then they can discuss about the events happening all around the world. They can read newspapers and share information. They can read books and share information. If it is that of uh, businessmen, then they can discuss about the business rules and regulations and the price fluctuations in the market. And if it is about the students, then it is always seen that uh, few people, they are always ahead of their group in studies, in collecting information on various topics. And uh, such students can be a source of information for the other students. And in a peer group, they could discuss with each other and they could expand the horizon of their knowledge base. Then, if you are in a peer group, you can learn about your gender roles. If it is a female only group, then females learn from each other how to behave and how to live in a society. Similar is the case with the boys. Then third advantage is peer groups facilitate transition to adulthood. During the adolescence phase, the students in a peer group, they learn how to cooperate coexist, socialize, talk to each other, express each other's emotions, each other's feelings, how to empathize with others and it makes their path smooth while undergoing the transition phase from an adol adolescent to becoming an adult. So it becomes a facilitating ground for the adolescents. It is also a learning ground of collaboration and group behavior where the students, they collaborate with each other to develop a project, to complete an assignment or to solve a mathematical problem. When students are in their peer group, they also observe the behaviors of their peer members, of their peers and they try to develop self-awareness, meaning what they are, what they are capable of doing, what they are not capable of doing, how far they can stretch their own behavior, own learning, own challenges and who are they exactly, whether they are introverts, whether they are extroverts, whether they are competent enough. This is called identity formation and self-awareness. So peer group has a lot of advantages. But then the question arises. What is the need to know about peer groups now? It is not exactly that we are talking about peer groups now. People have been talking about peer groups from a very long time. But now, because of Corona pandemic and because of online teaching and learning, learn emphasis on learning outcome has been more. And uh, when students learn in peer groups, when students discuss in peer groups, when students uh, form their peer groups, then they get a forum to express their feelings, to express their anxieties and to express their learnings. And that is why the need of the hour now is to form peer groups in the schools, in various grades, in various classes and to observe the learning behavior of the students. So the main reason for the need to know about peer group now is uh, to know about group work, collaboration, co-inquiry and peer learning because these are the 21st century skills. Then what is the purpose of peer groups in schools? The main purpose of peer groups in schools is to create peer learning groups. And what is a peer learning group? Peer learning is students learning from and with each other in both formal and informal ways. There are various models of peer learning. For example, senior students, tutor, junior students, same class students form groups of learning and personal support. There are discussion seminar groups, private study groups, peer counseling or body system, collaborative project or laboratory work groups and communities activity group. These are various models of peer learning. Then which type of peer learning is required in Indian schools now? We need reciprocal peer learning. 
then what is reciprocal peer learning reciprocal peer learning is and it emphasizes on students of the same class and cohort forming the peer group in which students simultaneously learn and contribute to other students learning it is based on mutual experience and uh, the most important thing is that each member of this group is heard they are given time and opportunity to express their understanding to express their feeling and to express their mind so what is peer learning group if we try to summarize then we come up with this catch phrases that in a peer learning group we collaborate to do a task we socialize to coexist as a group we co-inquire when there is a problem and find solutions we co-create for the problems and create new solutions and from the problem solving and solution seeking we co-learn it is a type of symbiotic relationship where people try to live together exist together learn together contribute to each other's understanding and each other's knowledge base these are nothing but 21st century skills so at present during covid pandemic when people are suffering they are really depressed they are anxious we need peer learning groups and therefore we need to learn about peer learning